Hello and welcome back. So in the last video you saw how to create a basic fragment uh, using Android Studio. So we added a basic fragment to our project and in this video I want to show how you can add the fragment or attach it to your current activity. Okay. So we created a fragment but we didn't use it. So um, I thought why not create a new activity and then attach the fragment that we created to the new activity. So as a recap, in the last video we saw like how to create this item fragment. It was pretty straightforward. You just went ahead in the studio, you said new and then you went to a fragment and then created a blank fragment, right? So that created a layout for us and a Java class which extends fragment, super class. Now, in order to explain you how you can attach this fragment to your activity, what I've done is I've created a new activity which I've called test fragment activity and the activity is pretty easy to create. <clears throat> I guess by now you should be familiar with activity creation. But if you are just wondering, um, here is the thing, you go to new, you go to activity and you create a blank activity. Okay. And once you have the blank activity, uh, <clears throat> so the blank activity has a layout file created. And what I've done is in this layout file, I have added this fragment element. And this is the way <clears throat> you add a fragment to your activity layout. Okay. So this fragment element is pretty simple. It has the layout width height, which are the mandatory fields for or attributes for any layout element. And then you have this class attribute in which, you know, you, you have to mention the class for the fragment. So which is item fragment for us. And then I've added an ID here. So when I run this, basically when I run this, launch this app, then I see this view. So my activity gets launched and with that the fragment gets launched. Okay, which is, and right now we have just a basic message in the fragment. As you can see here, it's just hello blank fragment. So this is the way you attach a fragment to an activity. And as you can see, this helps with code reusability and modularity. So you can attach this fragment to any activity. And uh, you know, that's the major benefit of using a fragment. So in the next video, we'll look at the fragment lifecycle uh, and how it differs from the activity lifecycle. But I hope in this video, you got an idea about the fragment and how to attach it. Go ahead and try it out. I'll push the source to GitHub and you can reference that. So until next time, take care. Bye.